Let me show you how to use the TI Inspire for two sample T tests. Firstly, uh, we open the um, spreadsheet. All right, so you can access now, and uh, we have a data of uh, newborns in the cigarette groups and uh, newborn in two groups of mothers actually here. One is a group of mothers uh, who smoke and the other one who do not smoke. So we categorize them at weight of newborns in cigarette group and weight of newborns in non-cigarette group. So we have 10 data for cigarette and we have 12 data. So for this uh, two sample t-test, it's fine to not having exact same amount. And uh, what's next is uh, we want to see the p-value. So from menu, Number four, statistics. And I'm going to go to number four again, st statistics, stat test. And we're going to choose two sample t test, number four. Okay. And data input method is always data. Okay. And the least one, I'm going to choose the cigarette as the least one. And least two is non cigarette. Frequency, leave it as one. Alternate hypothesis. This is the part where we can choose either. Um, the non-cigarette is greater than uh, the cigarette not greater than non-cigarette or it is different not same or it is less in this uh, uh, question so we want to see whether the mean newborn are significantly different significantly different means it is not the same so we're going to choose that as alternate hypothesis and the poll will always be yes okay and the result will be a D. Okay, let me click OK. All right, let's see what's the mistake here. So let's do again. Stats. Stats. Okay. Hmm. Menu. Stats. Stat test. Two sample T test. Data OK. C is cigarette. A is non cigarette. And uh, OK, poll is. Yes, and okay. Right now we have it. All right, so what we are looking at, we are looking at P value and P value. Okay, so we haven't discussed about P value yet, but we can just give attention to the P value that we have now. So the P value here is 0 0.0434. So there's three significant figures, and we are going to um, compare this with the level of significance that we have. In this question, they give 10%. 10%, if we convert that to decimal, that will be 0 0.1. So our case now, the p-value that we have is way smaller than the level of significance. So therefore, it, what happens if a p-value is smaller than the level of significance? So are we... Um, um, reject the null hypothesis or we accept the null hypothesis so something that you need to think of